Don't use vinyl. I'm gonna say this right now. I'm gonna start the video with this right here. Don't use vinyl. You see this right here? If you did this with vinyl, come here, let me show them where they would have to weed. If you did this exact image with vinyl, trust us, we've done it a billion times. You'd have to weed this, 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 this. You'd have to weed out of here. You'd have to weed the R, the A, um, the G should come out and the H should come out, but it just depends. And you'd also have to weed the O and, and then around this right here as well. So please, once again, if you are doing vinyl, right? Don't stop because with DTF, you can make this thing rainbow. You can make this thing red, green, blue, and you can print all those on one sheet versus, and you can have a hue effect as well. You don't have to just have a solid color. Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Straight Outta Content brought to you by Flash Custom Transfers. And if you guys don't know, we are the largest manufacturer of DTF in the country. We manufacture DTF transfers. That's this thing right here. It's a full color transfer that comes on a film and you get it on a sheet by 22 by 24 or 22 by 36 or our big sheets 22 by 60. And you're able to print any image that you want on there. And then whenever you get the sheet, you just cut it out place it on the garment that you want with some uh, heat press or a little iron like this, and then peel it off and there you go. But there is no transfer right now on the market on a really like commercial grade scale outside of like a sticker that you can use uh, that will come with full qual I mean full color and a, like a really good quality. But we are releasing our brand new UV DTF, which will not be, um, it will be transparent, right? It will be transparent. So it'll have the look of this, but it will be able to go on hard surfaces like a canvas, which is kind of in between a material and like a hard surface. But um, the UV DTF will be able to go on hard pieces like wood and a board. Uh, what is this called? The chalkboard or a cell phone case you'll be able to put UV DTF on all of those surfaces. This video is just an experimental video in which we are experimenting with our current regular apparel DTF. This is called regular direct to film. That's what DTF stands for. So we are running a little series called Will It Press? And we want you guys to comment down below before we actually press it to see will regular apparel DTF press like this, will it press on different surfaces? So in our past videos, we pressed regular apparel DTF on wood. This is the one that I made for my daughter. This video is available on the channel, straight out of content. And then this one, Shelly pressed for our son, the LeBron James picture. And this picture is actually available on the website right now for only 99 cents. So definitely go get that. But it actually works. Like regular apparel DTF will press on wood and it looks beautiful. Um, so the next, Oh, one of the next videos that we're going to do today is pressing on canvas. So I bought like a pack of these canvases, I think from Hobby Lobby. Uh, my daughter, she loves to paint. So we got a bunch of these laying around. And in my little mini office over there, I was like, you know what? I want a straight out of content picture. So no, we actually made this a while ago back when I had the uh, podcast. Like I was doing a boxing podcast and we were using vinyl at that time. So we use your typical, and come get a close up look at this. This is permanent vinyl. And this is why we say like permanent vinyl has its limitations. We had to weed this. And as you see, because it's not vectored, look at the lines I've cut out. See the U right here. Now it's not even sharp lines compared to this. Look at that. Look how crappy that it's is. It's sticky, it's not even sticky. It's anymore. not even sticky. And canvas is very close to, it is a material. It's like jean material or something like that. Very close to that. So this right here, this is the DTF version of this vinyl. This, there's no weeding. So you wanted to make this, say you had, say you've been using vinyl for a very long time and you've been getting images like this and you've been making shirts for people and you're so sick of weeding, go with DTF. Again, our transfer sheets starting are only $19.99. That's it, 20 bucks, you can fit whatever you want in it. I think you fit like two or, no, these are 12 by 12. So I think you fit like three of these on a gang sheet, but if you, these size, which is a little bit smaller, you can fit four. So, but I don't wanna put this on my canvas because it's just a little smaller and it's one big hit. So I'm gonna find a different project for this. But I wanted to make myself a new sign. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel off this crappy vinyl now. No, look how easy this comes out, guys. The DTF is gonna sit right into it. I'm really confident about this press. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, what do you think? Do you think this DTF will press into this canvas? Uh, and do you think it'll press good, bad? What do you think? 
I think is gonna do good because this canvas reminds me of jeans. And remember we pressed Allure's jean jacket. And also remember this is vinyl. So the same thing with regular heat transfer vinyl, it's gonna crack and peel. It's gonna do that eventually over time on your t-shirt or whatever type of apparel you put it on. <laughs> <laughs> she back there yawning. But DTF will not crack, peel, fade. It's super durable, super stretchy. Go ahead, show them that. Show them that, mm -hmm. look at that. This is old, this thing's been washed a bunch of times. Sorry for hitting the mic. So we're gonna keep peeling this off here. And we want you guys to go to Hobby Lobby, go to these different places and buy canvases and start creating your own custom art. We're actually gonna, I'm gonna jump on uh, the computer with my daughter and I have a new project in mind because we have a few more canvases and I want her to create some art. And then I want to print it out using our DTF printer. Well, you know, at the warehouse and then I want to print like a really big art, like a Basquiat or something like that, but inspired by my daughter. And guess what we're going to use to do that? We're going to use AI to do that. So please stay tuned for that video, guys. But again, we're doing this just as an experiment. We do not recommend you purchase DTF for canvases or DTF for, for wood. We have the right product that will be released any day now for that. That's called UV DTF. Now, canvas, Yes, I truly believe that regular apparel DTF on canvas is going to work fine. The only difficult the difficulty that you're gonna run into is will your press fit on the inside of this and be able to get the entire thing. We have a 15 by 15 and let's see, see, it's gonna be very difficult to get that in there and then the pressure. So we recommend you using on iron, and we're gonna show you that today. Please use our, you gonna, you gonna make it? You keep Stop. yawning the mic. I'm about Just to unmic you. No, I'm doing I'm silent yawns. And, and don't, don't tell Donovan. Don't tell Donovan, but we're gonna put this on his skateboard. <laughs> so this right here, again, this is traditional DTF. And this image, come take a look at the quality of this image. You can't do this with screen printing, right? You're not gonna get this high quality DTF, and this image isn't even vector. This is just a, a high quality PNG, but this is not vector. This was not redrawn. Um, to where like you can change the color of the eyes and stuff like that. The, the gentleman who sent us this um, to be printed, he was just making up some really good shirts. And again, this is the quality of DTF. You can get this high quality with, as long as you got a really good picture uh, image, you can really uh, make a, an amazing looking image. So we were like, I'm really excited to put that on the skateboard. He's gonna be like, what the heck mm -hmm. did you guys do? So first things first, we are going to lay out where, and Shelly's gonna help me, so that I get it in the center, because I'm looking at it from the up top. You tell me how oh. centered it is, and then I'm gonna use the heat tape to kind of center it. That kind of looks centered, but I could be off. From the top or the bottom? Uh, either way, I don't care. From I want it the same amount here as it is here. Yeah, this looks like it has more space down here. Okay, well look at it with your eyes. <laughs> it looks evil with my eyes. Okay, well then that's what I'll take it. I trust your eyes. I wouldn't trust my eyes. Yeah, I trust this them is a eyes. Machine. Yeah, I trust this them eyes. This is a machine. Nah, I trust them eyes. Them them eyes. What is she upstairs doing? That looks even to me though. It looks close. I guess I'll tape it down and we'll see. Your project. Yep, my project. And again, guys, this we're doing this for you. So once I put this on here, I won't be able to take it off. But we are do we do these silly projects for you guys so that you guys can do things at home. And again, if you, like I said, canvas, I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is gonna press in to here really good. In fact, I'm gonna use my own pillow underneath to give it some pressure. Cause I think this pillow fits in here. This is specifically meant for heat. This yes, is heat push tape. Push Please do not use regular tape. That is heat tape. Yes. That he is using, and we have that in the description down below. Yep. Oh, you know what? I don't think I put that in the other video. I think I'm tripping. I'm gonna put some woods just so, yes, so we can get nice pressure. Look at that. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, is that even? We're gonna get really good pressure because that's what that's what matters when it comes to DTF, especially in material, cloth material, um, any type of apparel material, which canvas falls under barely, but it does fall under that. You will be able to, I wanna make sure I get all the air bubbles out because I don't want it, not want it to crease once we start pressing. What do you think, babe? Do you think it's gonna come out good? Mm-hmm. Right, because it's canvas, right? Because you can press DTF on. Is she crying? Babe, Why stop, you crying? I'm yawning, stop saying <laughs> are stuff. Are you yawning in the mic? No, I'm no. silent yawning. Silent yawning? Uh, we have our temperature on 300, canvas is, really delicate, so I probably should turn it down. Yeah, let me turn it. And that will also be in the description down below. Uh, we just got that off of Amazon. 
There we go. Sorry. And this little fan here and our heat tape here. All these links will be so I put it on, essentials. Yes, all these links will be essential. Sorry, babe, for cutting me off. And it's going down. And as you can see, I purchased them. That's why they are all pink. <laughs> Go, babe. Okay, so yes, Chelly got all these. They're pink because they're for her. But again, guys, yeah. So again, before I go ahead and press this, just know this is just an experiment. Please do not try anything at home. Again, it's not dangerous or anything. It's nowhere, it's not dangerous like that. You just gotta be careful whenever you're pressing anything. So that's why I just want everybody to be careful. But do not watch this video and think that, oh my God, yeah, I need to give DTF for my cups and stuff like that. No, we won't be pressing DTF on cups. We're pressing DTF on things that we pretty much know will work. So wood, canvas, What's the other thing that we're gonna do, babe? There was one Skateboard. More. The skateboard, which is wood. I thought there was one uh. more thing. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But if we figure out more things, but we're only doing this to kind of get you guys geared up for our UV DTF. So in the last video, I showed you guys a glimpse of the UV DTF. So I will go ahead and show you that again now. And as you guys just saw right there, that is a glimpse of the UV DTF that is coming. Look how vibrant it is. And you guys will be able to put that on any hard surface. It just goes on and that stuff sticks. And if it's, you know, if it's going on a cup, it's gonna be able to withstand those hot, those hot water temperatures. If it's not going on a cup, it's going on like a uh, your store door. If it's going on your child's lunchbox, right? Just think of all the, think of all the, uh, the options that you now have with UV DTF with these full color transparent background images that you will be able to print because mostly everything right now is gonna have some type of white background. So let's go ahead and let's get pressing. We're gonna use parchment paper. We're going to use parchment paper and we're gonna start over here in the corner. And we're just gonna run it very lightly. Again, it's on 290. We're just gonna push it very light. And you're gonna start to see it separate. You're gonna start to see the little air bubble. So in fact, if you guys get your transfers from us, and you see like little air bubbles in it, That's there's nothing wrong with the transfer. It's just that sometimes moisture between shipping, between you know our uh, where we ship it from and to you, whether or not it's our house or from the warehouse, there can be moisture. Even though we put the silicone pack, there can still be moisture between the transfer and the uh, and the film. So we just wanted to. A lot of people send us pictures. What's wrong with my transfer? Remember the one lady? There's there's chicken grease. Yes. There's chicken grease. We was like, no, ma'am, it's not chicken grease. <laughs> Sometimes the trenches sweat, that's all. Just Someone from... thought we spilled Sprite one time. Did they really? Yeah, I spilled Sprite on my trench. <laughs> I was like, that is the most detailed. And we can, listen, we should do a video spilling Sprite on stuff. It's not gonna do. Like we spilled Sprite on this on the top and it never touched the bottom. It never touched the adhesive on the back. It's not gonna do anything. What or I'm spilled gonna... chicken grease. Or chicken, chicken grease. grease. Yeah, get some chicken grease. <laughs> so I'm being very gentle. I'm just kind of letting the heat do its thing. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna do this halfway again, like I did with the last last video. And guys, definitely go check out that video. Go check out the last video of my little experiment. <laughs> you don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing thumbnails. You don't know. We doing thumbnails. Chili got the most. So cold in here. It's not like cold. Like an igloo. It's 78 degrees outside. Right. Let me see how it looks. Is it you lifting? See? Yeah. Just move the parchment paper if it's lifting. No, no bubbles Why is yet. it sticking? When well, we did the other one. Oh, there ain't no pressure. No pressure, sir. Oh, that. Oh yeah, it wants to. I felt the S1 in the stick. Oh, see, so it's starting oh, to come off a little, little bit right there. So I need a little more pressure. Yeah, it's not hard like that wood. Mm -mm. And again, guys, this is why this is meant for apparel. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? This with is the proper machinery, yes. with the proper amount of pressure, all of those things matter when you're pressing your DTF transfers. And with UV DTF, there is no heat. You stick it on, peel it off, that's it. And it's just as durable. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's gonna be a lot of knockoffs out there of UV DTF and you guys are gonna get it. And you're gonna be like, no, it looks the same. And then you're gonna be like, oh my God, it came off. Oh my God, it melted off or it did this, it did that. So we, we our UV DTF process is unlike anybody else. We are trying our best. I'm gonna try this corner again. If this corner lifts, then I know that my pressure and the degrees, I might go up on the heat. 
Oh yeah, it's starting to lift up. See those little bubbles in the S? That's because of the heat, Zach. You need to let it cool, maybe so that- Remember the last time we did this? Glue can heat it. Remember it wrinkled? See how it wrinkles? Do you want me to just hold it up here and then you can just fat make it go fast? No. Nah. Because last time I just cut it all out. It, you know, in post editing, we cut out all the sound. Mm. So the video was only 13 minutes. This is never do direct heat without a some type of Teflon paper or something on top. Whenever you're pressing your regular DTF transfers, again, this is just experiment because so many people ask, will it press on this? Will it press on this? Will it press on this? No, there's a specific product for that. Now, again, like I said, we are going to continue to do our little silly projects for the kids and stuff like that for the house because regular apparel DTF is very versatile, very versatile, but you know, it has its purposes and it has its uh, right places. Oh, it wants to so bad. Hit that. It wants to so bad. See how it's stretching them? I always does that right there in the corner. Heat to make it lift. Oh, see, look, I'm burning the canvas. See, that's why. You don't use you canvases. Don't use, okay, so I'm just gonna use it bare and just let it do its thing. No parchment paper, guys, we going raw. <laughs> Let's go. So now that we got that corner going, now we're just gonna try to. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Let's get this corner, then we're gonna try not to get the canvas. Yeah, so that heat is activating it. That raw heat coming right from, and it's taking it, guys. DTF can take high temperature. We know we tell you guys to press, you know, a 310, but it can take high temperature. And again, if you have any questions, please email us. A lot of people have questions and they don't know where to contact us because they're kind of falling into, they're catching our older videos. But even if you email the old email, it'll still be forwarded to our proper email, which is order now at flash custom transfers. Dot com. Again, order now at flashcustomtransfers.com. If you have any questions before you order, please email us. Remember, we do free gang sheep. We set your gang sheep up, gang sheep up for free. You do not think that, oh my God, I can't order from them because I don't have my gang sheet ready or I don't have my materials or images and stuff like that ready. The other companies get upset at you and need everything done first before you send them your images or before you purchase. We don't need it done. If you if you if you have those, if you know exactly what you want, you know you want a 22 by 24 and you, you're ready to order, you can go ahead. Oops, starting to crease there in the middle. You can go ahead and order. You order from the website, get your 1999 sheet, and then what you do from there is you just email us your graphics and then we're gonna help set up your sheet. We're gonna help you 100 percent set up your sheet. You're not gonna have to worry like, oh my God, how do I set up a gang sheet? I don't know how to do it. Do I do it in Canva? Do I do it, you know, in AI? I don't have Adobe Illustrator. No, you don't. We take all the worry out of out of getting your full color transfer. That's our job. That's what we want to do. You know, we, we're not like the competitor where they need everything perfect. Otherwise they won't print it. And if they do print it, they will send you a messed up image. They will, If they, you know, if you send them, you know, an image like this and it's not vectored, they're not gonna tell you. Right, babe? They're not gonna mm -hmm. tell them. We tell you, we're like, hey, listen, this ain't vector. You know, this, whenever we zoom in 300, this thing is really pixelated. I can see all the pixels in it and stuff like that. I, are you sure you wanna print this? You really want this to be on your clothing brand? You really wanna, you know, give this right here to your, to your customer? I wouldn't recommend it. You know what I mean? We give you guys time to edit it. And if we can, we do it for free as well. You know what I mean? If it's like a quick background removal or something like that, we just, look, babe, how many jobs have we done for free? Like uh, too many to count. Right? Mm -hmm. We just get it done. Yeah, and I had an email from this lady yesterday that she was so happy that we gave her a resolution check. What's that? Where we checked the resolution for her. Okay. Resolution check. Um, because she said that other companies were just printing her stuff and that's why she wasn't happy with it. So she was just looking for a company to be honest with her about her images and let her know, hey, this is not gonna print good. Please redo. And she said she couldn't be happier with the type of um, suggestions that we, you know, suggested and, you know, things like that, all the feedback. Mm. She says, I'm looking for one company to give me this type of feedback so I can have the highest quality. And she was just so happy. Well, that's good. Shout yeah. out to her. You know mm -hmm. her name? Uh, no, I don't remember. Okay. It was my first time talking to her yesterday. Okay. So it's just very, it's just a constant reminder on how different we are from these other companies. Yeah, and that was our that was our choice from the beginning mm -hmm. to not be like anybody else. Hence why we're always coming out with these brand new products. The first one to market with a gang sheet. The first one to market with a with a sublimation gang sheet. The first one to market with a you know now the UV DTF. The first one to market with a subscription. 
You know what I mean? We have the $8.99 subscription so that you can get lower prices on your sheets. Instead of spending $19.99, you can become a member for $8.99 and then you'll get your 22 by 24 for only 16 bucks. Mm -hmm. You get your 22 by 60 for $39.99, 40 bucks. And the shipping is cheaper. And don't forget, it's always free shipping if you're right here in Texas. Because you can just go with local pickup. No, it's not free shipping if you're in Texas. Well, I mean, it's if you're right here in Houston. Free local pickup. <laughs> well, who knows? Because remember, somebody drove from Dallas okay, to our well, own Don't store. say that. It's not free shipping <laughs> in I'm Texas. I'm sorry. You know what I mean. <laughs> if you're here in Houston and you can drive out here, you can mm -hmm. click local pickup and drive out here and come and get your transfer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And this is pressing. I'm about to peel it, but I'm just making sure, having conversation. You guys ready to peel? Mm -hmm. All right, man. All right. Will it Will press? Will it press? Do you need some fan? You know what? No, I'm going I'm to try it hot. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, see, I can always press because it's this skinny line. Again, guys, if you do this on a shirt, it would have been, we would have been done seconds ago. Mm -hmm. You just cut and press. Remember all that vinyl that we had to pick up? Don't use vinyl. I'm going to say this right now. I'm going to start the video with this right here. Don't use vinyl. You see this right here? If you did this with vinyl, come here, let me show them where they would have to weed. If you did this exact image with vinyl, trust us, we've done it a billion times. You'd have to weed this, 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 this. You'd have to weed out of here. You'd have to weed the R, the A, um, the G should come out and the H should come out, but it just depends. And you'd also have to weed the O and, and then around this right here as well. So please, once again, if you are doing vinyl, right? Don't stop because with DTF, you can make this thing rainbow. You can make this thing red, green, blue, and you can print all those on one sheet versus, and you can have a hue effect as well. You don't have to just have a solid color. And once this is vectored, so you're going to be in a different, you can change content to whatever you want on your own. You know what I mean? Or, or we can help you do that. So please, all you have to do is cut and press this. And again, this is on this is just an experiment. This image on a t-shirt, which I have, is easy. Boom, press, lift, peel, press again, boom, you're done. No weeding, none of that extra work. You don't need a Cricut machine, think about it. If you are using vinyl, you're bit, you're having to go through two machines. You're having to go through your Cricut cut machine, then you're having to weed, and then you're having to go through your press. With DTF, all you need is a press. And don't let anybody tell you that you don't need a press. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I keep hearing that. You don't need a press, you don't need a press. That's everybody's got a press and it's for a reason. We still even have our press. Oh man, oh, dang it. Not doing it. No, I just, I'm for, it's these little lines. I'm not, it wants to come up. I probably should go, huh? I said it's 30 minutes trying to get this thing pressed on here. <laughs> yeah, and again, this is the experiment. This is the time that we take out for you guys just to have silly little videos and talk to you about what's going on in the industry. Please check out my other video that I have that's up talking about the industry, you know what I mean? Because that video is really, really powerful. A lot, I'm getting, a, actually babe, I'm getting a lot of good reviews on that video where I'm talking about the industry. I really mm -hmm. thought I was gonna get, people are gonna be hating and people are gonna feel some type of way, but mm -hmm. people really understand where I'm coming from when I'm telling them like, yo, you gotta watch out for these new, for these new people telling you to do things and do things and they don't even do it themselves. They're only doing it for their own, for their own benefit. Dang it, okay, so the H. <laughs> I know, every time you come over. Okay. Oh, okay, so whenever I press, too heavy, it wants to push it. Okay, I see. So our transfers are cold peel. So whenever you're pressing this, do not peel it hot. Do not. Peel it cold, use a fan. This fan will be in the link in the description down below. Use a fan. Um, I'm just, you know, trying whatever I want for this silly thing right here. Oh, oh, we getting there. I got the top half, top half off this line going. Yep, so what I got going on right now, I got my hand on the back pillow. You wanna show them like that, pushing it in. To get that firm pressure. Yep, to get that firm pressure. I should have did this. Well, one. this is all experimental. It is 100% experimental, 100%. Well, it's gonna press now, I know. And I'm gonna cool it too. Go ahead and cool it. I'm gonna cool it from the back. Mm hmm. What you do best is what? Cool it from the back? Mm hmm. Stop being jelly. I'm talking about the canvas. You ain't talking honey. about no canvas. I'm talking about the experiment. You ain't talking about no sweet, canvas. Sweet cheeks. Jelly. What? <laughs> Babe, You're so silly. You want it to be cold. Bear said, what are you doing my like skateboard in here? He said that hat. I said, oh, we're doing knucklehead kids. Off. Yeah. Come get this peel. Oh, well, every time I come, you come know, you ain't peel. ready. This peel is ready now, nah, y'all say. Oh, why are you turning? In the Texas is because I want you to get the straight of the content. You was at the corner. Well, I can't. Look at that. Look at that. Can we pull it? Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> 
What'd chip. What'd you do? Right there, right there. I got caught. Press on that, press on that. It was close. We almost had it. Push right there. We almost had it. So the answer is, will it press? Yes, it will. It will press on canvas. Barely. And I think because of these thin lines, I can't wait till I do that big art picture. I cannot wait. I think what it's going to be so picture? sick. The one that I got in my mind that I'm going to do with Lou. Oh. I'm going to do with the AI that I'm going to have AI create the mm -hmm. AI art. And then, but like a, but, but from her brain, you remember how I was doing like the bears and stuff like yeah. that from my brain. I'm going to say, okay, we're going to, and I'm going to show you guys how to use uh, AI to create art. Oh, or should I vector? Did you two? Uh, no. <laughs> should I vector one of her images? Yeah, should I vector one of her paintings? Maybe I should vector one of her, because we can, we can vector. If you or one of your kids draw something, we can vector it, or we can just take that actual image, up the quality, and then just print it. And I think it, creating with AI would be cooler. Cooler. Both okay. of y'all together, and right. then creating this design out of thin air. Okay. And then printing it, like I think that experience from start mm -hmm. to finish is. All right, straight out of content. It pressed. It pressed. That's good. Let me feel it. It feels like. Mm -hmm. It feels like it feels like a, a thinner vinyl. Yeah. It still has that feeling, but it's not as thick as yeah. the vinyl was on there. It's a lot smoother. Right. That second press. That second press. Got to get that second press in to really seal it in there. We're using parchment paper. This is going to smooth it out and give it that smooth feeling we're used to with DTF. Because people always ask, is it plastic? Is it this? Is it that? No. If you got a big, thick piece like this on anything, I don't care if it's vinyl, screen print, uh, screen print transfers, sublimate. Well, no, obviously not sublimation, but DTF. Uh, what's another one? Uh, white print. If you got a thing like this, super thick, you're gonna feel it. Cause look, it's thick. I don't care what it is, but something like this, you're not gonna feel it. It's gonna be super light. Watch once I'm done. Cause all our transfers require a second press. So don't ever get it twisted. You do need a second press and we are, we are doing that. That's that curing phase. That's what really smooths it all out. Makes it nice and pretty. It's pillar. Get that pillar. That's how y'all say it here in the South, Chelly, a pillar. No, we say pillows. The pillar. Hello. You know what I'm saying? Cereals, macaronis. Yeah. Let me know in the comments down below <laughs> if you guys say macaroni and cheese or macaronis. <laughs> I don't know. I Chelly says macaroni, and I'd be like, what is she talking about? Like, there's mad different macaronis. Well, when I say macaroni, I mean macaroni and cheese. Mm. So I'd be like, okay, let's have chicken and macaroni. And he's like, macaroni and what? Yeah, because there's macaroni salad, there's pasta macaroni. We don't eat macaroni salad a day in our life. Yes, you do. Never. Did you eat potato salad? So sure I do. Macaroni and guess salad. what I'm going to say? Potato Babe, salad. Babe, this is making it so smooth. It's making it set in. I can feel it. Look, and it's moving with the canvas. Look, I'm pushing in the middle. Vinyl would have already messed up because you saw what the vinyl did with this canvas. This is like melting it in there. Wow, that's so sick. It's like finishing. It's like a finishing touch. That's so cool. Look at that. See, there was like a spot right there that I Let's do the cool. Oh yeah, the, right? the when it's hot, it feels like melted yeah. butter. Look at that, guys. Ooh, Come on. Straight Come out on. of content. Come on, look at that. I was able to make that with straight DTF. Out of content. Take your thumbnail, oh, yeah, cheese. Thumbnail. Cool. Got it. DTF. Get a couple more. Okay. Yeah, guys, look at that. I'm so proud. Now I can put this in my wall, babe. Yeah. You know how long this thing has been raggedy? This ain't coming Since off either. Since day one. Since day, oh, what is that, hair? Chelly. Not mine. Chelly. <laughs> Chelly. <laughs> Not mine. Chelly. Aw. Oh, yeah. Aw. Flash custom transfers. Flash custom transfers. So if you guys wanted to know, yes. And again, you can make some really cool art with using our DTF transfers, right? And a canvas. Just go pick you up some from Hobby Lobby or something like that. Maybe we'll put some, we'll put some links to some Hobby Lobby uh to these transfer I mean to these uh canvases that we got. We'll put it in the link below. But like, you know, look, you can do it on wood. Mm -hmm. That's look at that guys. Get get please get a close up of that. You know I am. Look at look at the detail. That's our DTF transfer. And it took the the uh, texture of the wood. Yes. So that's kind of why you see this because if you see the texture here, you see it here. But yes. it's so beautiful. So just imagine if you just like got like an antique table. You just got like an old table that you picked up on like the side of the road or something like that, and you refinish the top and you want to do something really cool on as like a cool design on top. You 100% can with 
regular apparel DTF transfers. You can, you could just put it in there and then you use the epoxy on top and people are like, how the heck did you do that? I'm like, yeah, I use DTF, this company called Flash Custom Transfers. I, you know, I, I wasn't looking to put it on shirts or anything. I, I wanted to do it with wood. So we really recommend this. This is not coming off. That ain't coming off. No, but if you, you know, apply any type of water or anything like that. Without sealing it. Yes, without yeah. sealing it. We don't recommend without sealing it. And if you apply any type of water to untreated wood, it's going to mess up anyway. Mm -hmm. So you would, once you treat this, this isn't going. Anywhere. You know what I mean? This is not going anywhere. So just be careful. You know, but I would use, I wouldn't use a heavy chemical like type of coating because I don't know if that, uh, if that chemical has like a, whoa, what is that? A oh, Lord, no. I don't know if that chemical is going to have like something in it that'll mess with the transfer. Yeah. But same thing with this guy's look, this is, and that's in there. That is in there. That's that's in there. You guys know our DTF stretches. I don't want to ruin the, the canvas, but this, I cannot wait to make future art using DTF. You can, you can use as long as it's canvas. So it's basically like cloth. So, all right guys, that's going to be it for this video. I'm so, I don't think you understand how happy I am. <laughs> I'm so happy because it was falling off. Now I can put this up. You know how many of these things I can make? You can have Lulu paint. I Even know, paint around like it. around or paint. I can pay just tape this off and have her paint around. Yeah, it. to make it more artsy. Yeah, to make I it more. Yeah. It. I can just t uh, tidy this up. Again, this was with the. But you can get better and better. If you're good at putting things on a canvas, I'm not. You could get really creative with this and start mm -hmm. making your own art. I mean, I could sell this. I could just keep making these yeah. and sell this. You know what I mean? Straight out of content. Let me know if you guys want to buy this in the comments down below. Guys, shoot me an offer, okay? <laughs> shoot me an offer if you want to buy the first ever DTF transferred canvas art first bidder five dollars first bidder fifty dollars you trying to lowball you owe me first... five dollars all right that's gonna be it for this video guys <laughs> thank you thank you thank you for everything guys again please go experiment on canvas and on wood with dtf please 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 if you have any questions order now flash transfer.com but uv dtf is coming and when it does we're going to change the industry we're going to change the industry that's going to be it for this video guys Stay tuned, head on over to Flash Custom Transfer's channel now. Check out the video of her pressing this LeBron James picture. And also check out the video of her pressing on the skateboard, man. This right here on the skateboard, ooh, it's gonna be lit. All right, that's it. Peace out, peace. <laughs>